This is the book of Mark, chapter 13, verse 7. And when ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, be not be ye not troubled for such things must need be, but the end shall not be yet. Mark 13 and 8. For nations shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be earthquakes in diverse places. And there shall be famines and troubles. These are the beginning of sorrows. Shalom, first and foremost. Let give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Karkadash. Shalom to the uh, elders of Great Millstone for pushing the word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, scattered the four corners of the world, pushing the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And let's say shalom to the Akim out there. And this is a uh, sit down lesson that I want to bring out from dailymail.co.uk, published by Keith Griff, Griff for dailymail.com. As of June the 20th, 2023. And last updated at 1053, June 20th, 2023, and it reads, China is advanced talks to build new military training facility in Cuba, triggering an alarm among White House officials at a prospect of a siege troop station just 100 miles off of Florida. And it says, uh, China is reportedly negotiating established military training of facilities in Cuba. It says plans have triggered alarm as Biden administration seeks to head off the deal. It says last week, U.S. officials accusing Beijing using Cuba as a spy post. It says uh, China is in talks to build a joint military training facility in Cuba triggering an alarm in the Biden administration as a prospect of Chinese troops within 100 miles of Florida's coast, according to a new report. That's a lucky for the uh, load right there. But continuing on with the reading, it says discussion are at a advanced stage, but are not yet final. It says uh, the Biden administration has contact Havana and the attempts to head off a deal. The Wall Street Journal reports on Tuesday citing a current uh, and former U.S. official. It says the official said the plans were revealed highly classified. The new U.S. intelligence, which they said is being interpre interpreted a Viring level of alarm and by analysts and policy makers concerning for U.S. officials the proposed Cuban base is part of China's Project 141 a plan to build a global network for military bases and logistical support sources to uh, the journal it follows the U.S allegations that China is running electronic sp uh, spy bases on Cuba and the attempt to ever drop insensitive military communications. And they said uh, China Air Force personnel are seen marching in a file photo of the U.S. official plans for training facilities in Cuba were revealed in a highly classified U.S. intelligence, which I read already. But continuing on with the reading, furthermore, it says uh, the White House and the Pentagon did not immediately respond to the request from commenting from DailyMail.com on Tuesday morning. A spokesperson for the China's ambassador, Washington, D.C., refers questions from DailyMail.com to recent remarks from China's foreign minister spokesperson, May uh, Mao Ying, if I pronounce his name right. I am not aware of what you mentioned, Mao says in a response to a question about the plans for a military base in Cuba at a regular briefing with reporters on Tuesday. We hope relevant parties will focus on their time and efforts on doing things that are conductive to 
mutual trust and regional peace and stability and develop, she said. Oh, that's a female. I thought that was a male. It says, uh, my apology on that. It says, we hope relevant parties will focus their time and efforts on doing things that are conductive to mutual trust and regional peace and stability development, she added. It says, words of the proposed training facility comes after U.S. Secretary, uh, U.S. Uh, Secretary of State Anthony Blinken concluded the two-day diplomatic visit to Beijing, where he met with Chinese leader Xi Jinping, but failed to establish a military hotline, which a uh, report came out. I've seen that yesterday. They have rejected that. They have rejected the uh, military hotline support. It says, uh, Blinken said China is not ready to resume direct military to military contact, something the U.S. considers a crucial to avoid miscalculation and conflict, particularly over Taiwan. It says China has been resistant to the kind of direct hotlines to where the place between the U.S. and the USSR during the Cold War, believing that could involve American troops to take provocation actions. Meanwhile, issues regarding Cuba are increasingly coming to the fore and tensions between D.C. and Beijing. It says last week, U.S. officials accused Beijing of using Cuba as a electronic spying post. U.S. officials said China and Cuba jointly operated four electronic surveillance posts in around the island and that China uh, significantly upgraded its intelligence collection of facilities there in 2019. So, uh, bring out the uh, Mark 13 and 7 once again. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Be ye not trouble, for such things must need be, but the end shall not be yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. Right, nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. So, you know, these are uh, rumors, rumors of wars, you know. So, even if the, the United States and uh, China had the little momentarily two day visit of Anthony Blinken visit over there in Beijing, talking to uh, representations of Beijing and representations of uh, China, which is the president of China, how they had a little two day meeting. But that's still going to spark. Uh, that's still going to spark escalations. So that little momentarily of two day uh, conversations, it's not going to show much progress. But you're still going to have tensions between Beijing and Washington and China and the United States over Taiwan. And regularly, uh, China versus the United States tensions are still going to be there. You know, that's why you know, especially this recent news article, even though it might be a rumor. As it says again, China is in China is in advanced talks to build new military training facilities in Cuba, triggering an alarm among White House officials as a prospect of Xi's troop station just a hundred miles off of Florida. So that's kind of worrying to the Biden administration, according to the report. You know, so that shows your prime example right there. So. Any progress of peace and stability between the United States and China, you know, that's not going to be the case, you know. So they're still going to have tensions there. That's why the scripture says uh, rumors of wars, you know. they still going to have rumors of wars and escalations between Beijing, Washington, and the United States and China, you know. So with that, you know, this was just a uh, sit-down lesson that I wanted to bring out of this recent news article from the dailymail.com as of June the 20th, 2023 and published by Keith Griff from dailymail.com as it says again China is in advanced talks to building a new military facility in Cuba triggering an alarm uh, among the White House officials at a prospect of Xi's troops stationed just 100 miles off of Florida so with that Hopefully this lesson was edifying. I would like to give all praises, glory, and honor to to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Makar Kadash, 
Shalom to the elders of Great Millstone for preaching word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered by the four corners of the Lord, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And until next time, I will say Shalom.